Part 1. White Clouds. Garland Moon. Mutiny in the Mist. When the warm winds blow from the sea to the south of Adrastia, residents of Fodlin know that the rainy season is upon them. Before the heavy rains take their toll, young women hurry to pick the last of the white roses. The ivory buds are woven into garlands and given as gifts to close friends or potential lovers. Professor, I have a new mission for your students. We have received reports that Lord Lonato has rallied troops against the Holy Church of Seros. Lord Lonato is a minor lord of the kingdom. He has been showing hostility toward the church for some time now. A vanguard unit from the Knights of Seros is already on its way to his stronghold, Castle Gaspar. Lord Lenato's army is nothing compared to the Knights. It is quite possible the rebellion has already been suppressed. Even so, I would like for your class to travel with the Knights rear guard to deal with the aftermath. War zones are unpredictable. We do not expect you will have cause to battle, but be prepared for the worst. Excuse me, you sent for me, Lady Rhea? This is Catherine. She will be leading the knights whom you will be accompanying. Nice to meet you. We've heard a lot about you. If you need anything, just ask. She is one of our bravest knights, and that is no small feat. Only an exceptional few have what it takes to join the Knights of Seros. This mission should prove useful in demonstrating to the students how foolish it would be to ever turn their blades on the church. It really is an honor to accompany Catherine, wielder of Thunderbrand. I hear you're intimidating enough to silence the howling winds. You mean you don't know? My weapon is called Thunderbrand. It's one of the hero's relics. A long, long time ago, the goddess bestowed divine weapons upon ten heroes, which were passed down to their descendants. It's an honor to wield, but I'm afraid there won't be any chance for that today. Our mission is to help clean up the aftermath, not to fight. Why would Lord Lonato incite such a reckless rebellion? He had to have known he had no chance of winning. It all goes back to the tragedy of Dusker. You must be joking. Where have you been traveling that news of it didn't reach you? It happened about four years ago. The King of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus was murdered by the people of Dusker. That about covers it, right? To put it simply, yes. But there's more to that story. They had accomplices within the kingdom as well. Lord Lenato's son, Kristoff, was one of them, and so he was handed over to the church for execution. Speaking from the church's perspective, we simply passed judgment according to our doctrine in place of the kingdom, which was in complete chaos. Whatever the truth behind that incident may be, Lord Lenato has harbored resentment toward the church ever since. Well, to be more specific, his grudge isn't only against the church. It's also against the one who turned Kristoff over to them. Report! The enemy is approaching. They can't be avoided. Their numbers are far greater than we predicted. They use the fog to slip past the Knight's perimeter. It looks like our mission just changed, Professor. Everyone, prepare for battle! With this fog, it's impossible to tell where the enemy might be, or how many of them there are. The enemy could be trying to surround us, but they shouldn't have enough soldiers to form a tight circle. Take down anyone who breaks through the fog, and let's push through! The conditions are the same for both sides, but we're at a disadvantage for not knowing the terrain. 
Proceed with caution. Wait for them to enter your field of view. Lord Lenato doesn't deserve such sadness and anger. Now it's your turn to suffer. <laughs> <laughs> You think we're just gonna do nothing while you try to kill our lord? Lord Lenato. Please don't die. The nobles start the war, but it's the commoners who spill their blood first. Cut! Hey, hey. I won't let you anywhere near Lord Lenato. Thunderstrike Cassandra! It was your wretched zealotry that killed my son! <laughs> the only name I answer to is Catherine. Prepare to taste the blade of one who serves the goddess. Now you face a knight of Theros! The fog is cleared. There's nothing left to hide you or the filthy central church from the judgment of the goddess. You have been deceived by that witch. I will show you the truth. I never thought I'd see Lonato meet this fate. Well done, everyone. Let's gather our troops and go.
Nice work, Teach. Still, that fight left a foul taste in my mouth. That aside, did you see how Catherine fought? Agreed. I thought the power of the hero's relics must be exaggerated, but I was clearly wrong. Makes you wonder about that legend. Oh, it's nothing. Just the usual fanciful nonsense. An ancient relic that once cut a mountain in half with a single swing. That's what they say, anyway. But as amazing as Thunderbrand is, I don't think it fits that description. Apparently, relics can harness tremendous power for those with a compatible crest. Though you can technically use one so long as you have any crest at all. Yeah, I don't know. Long story short, I'd like to try cutting a mountain in half someday. Ooh, are you talking about relics? You'll be able to use one soon, Claude. I just know it. After all, you've already been selected as the next head of House Regan. Easy there, Hilda. I don't know how apt soon is. My grandfather is still unbearably healthy. Oh, is this news to you, Teach? Yours truly was recently recognized as a legitimate child of House Regan. They possess one of the hero's relics, too, though I've yet to see it. I officially joined House Regan only last year. Before then, I lived with my father. When I learned that my mother was the daughter of an Alliance noble, I was so surprised I thought the whole world was pulling a fast one on me for a week. So that means your mother is Duke Regan's daughter, right? Where is she now? I can't say. My mother is currently living in a different world than the one she grew up in and has no desire to return home. Um, okay. You sure have a lot of secrets, don't you? I'm just keeping a promise to my parents. Make of that whatever you will. In exchange for my so-called secrecy, I'm free to do as I please. Which is why I decided to see what the other side of my family was like. That's how I found out about this strange crest I bear. Professor. Claude. It sounds like the troops will be withdrawing soon. We should return as well. We won. We should be celebrating. Instead, we're heading back with heavy hearts. Whoa there, what's the matter? You look as sad as a kitten without any yarn. If we hadn't done what we did, the rebel army would have followed this road all the way to the monastery. And they would have crushed all the little villages along the way. We stopped that from happening. You should be proud. Sorry to intrude, but this incident may be more serious than anticipated. I found this on Lord Lenato. It's a note that mentions a plan to assassinate Lady Rhea. We can't tell who sent it, so the source is suspect, but the content is too disturbing to ignore. We must report this to Lady Rhea right away. I hope that it's nothing. I am glad to see that you have returned safely. The Goddess is gracious with her divine protection. But it was not only her divine protection that shielded you, was it? You are just as skilled as I had hoped. I am not so sure. I heard some of the students were hesitant about fighting militia. However, we must punish any sinner who may inflict harm upon believers, even if those sinners are civilians. I pray the students learned a valuable lesson about the fate that awaits all who are foolish enough to point their blades towards the heavens. Our real concern is what Catherine reported, the secret message that was in Lord Lenato's possession. It contained a deplorable plot to target the Archbishop on the day of the Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. The plan seems unrealistic at best, but a threat is a threat. We must maintain constant vigilance. To that end, I would like for you and your students to help with security on the day of the ritual. That is most reassuring. You have my gratitude. The rite of rebirth is of paramount importance. It is when the Church of Seros and its believers unite to pray for the return of the Goddess. The Archbishop and I will be confined to the Goddess Tower once the ritual begins. Of course, the Knights will be on high alert as well. But there aren't enough of them to keep watch on every corner of the monastery. It is far from ideal to be forced to mobilize students. But the gravity of this situation requires that we all bend to avoid breaking. While there is no need to fear for my safety, 
We cannot turn a blind eye to those who would blaspheme so heinously. With any luck, this will all be for naught. Still, be on your guard. 